is a piece of waste material that allows you to cut all the way through your project without damaging the tabletop of your CNC. But properly made, it serves more function than that. The factory supplied table of your CNC is almost certainly not parallel to the plane that the head travels on, causing inconsistent depth of cut across the table of your machine, especially when doing engraving and v-carving. And simply adding T-slots directly into the MDF spoil board makes clamping your parts down to the machine quick and easy. The process begins by cutting a piece of MDF to the working envelope size of your CNC. The working envelope is not necessarily the same size as your machine bed, and you need to be able to plane down the top of the spoil board in order to make sure that it's perfectly parallel to the machine's movement axis. The next step is to cut a 3 8 inch wide dado every 3 inches across the width of the spoil board to provide clearance for the T-slot bit. I use Rockler's T-slot router bit, which cuts the wider part of the slot. The neck of the bit rides inside the 3 8 dado that you cut on the table saw, so no straight edges or guides are needed. It's a quick process to just cut out the T-slots and I set the bit to cut about a half an inch deep overall. This bit readily accepts both quarter inch and 5 16 inch T-bolts, making it very convenient to use whatever clamping system you want. The next step is to mount your spoil board to your particular CNC bed. I use nylon bolts for this. That way if I happen to hit one with the router bit, no problem. I don't damage the bit. The actual location of these mounting bolts will depend on your machine's table. And now one final step before we're ready to start milling parts. A flat bottom bit is mounted in the router in order to surface the spoil board. Write a basic pocketing program with a cut depth of about a 32nd of an inch. This is used to plane the top of your spoil board so that it's dead flat and parallel to the z-axis of your router. This is a very messy process, so I highly recommend using a dust hood while you're surfacing your spoil board. The surfacing step is very important. Not only will it remove any irregularities in the surface of the MDF, but it will also compensate for any flatness issues that may exist in your machine table. A properly thought out spoil board for your CNC is not very expensive and pretty quick to make and will greatly improve the accuracy and usability of your machine while protecting it from damage. You can find more great information like that contained in this video by visiting my website at www.consultingwoodworker.com.